this I hope is a quick video. In my videos, I'm I'm freestyling. I don't have a script. I don't even know what I'm gonna say next. I pick a topic. The topic here is how do I know what's right and what's wrong? What should I base my decision of whether something's right or wrong on? And the very quick answer is, for you to determine what's right or wrong, okay, let's say this is my opinion. For you to determine what's right or wrong, you should run the following simulation. Yeah? The simulation... methodology is as follows one obviously choose the parameter that you want to investigate the parameter here being is such and such a thing right or wrong is x right or wrong then two yeah Apply X to 100% of the population. And then three, test for extinction. So, if we go back to how you do step one. The parameter, like for example, um, if you want to know if... Um, if sneezing is right or wrong, step one, you've chosen parameter. Is sneezing right or wrong? X equals sneezing. Is it right or wrong? Step two, apply this to 100% of the population. How do you do that? Now, the way to do that is to say and ask yourself this. If 100% of the population sneezed, yeah, if 100% of the population sneezed, that's step two. So you say um, 7 billion people on the planet, yeah, times X, <laughs> yeah. Um, so then step three, test for extinction. Yeah. Then you say to yourself, if 100% of the people in the world were prone to sneezing, will we become extinct? Yeah. Then you determine um, what does sneezing do? Yeah. Yeah. Sneezing, what is sneezing? Sneezing is just basically, um, well, the body, um, sometimes it might get uh, the, um, the nose might, might have um, dust particles in there and um, it, it kind of like uh, touches sensitive areas in there and, you know, this causes you to, 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 to blow that out, yeah? Uh, so they say if 100% of the people were prone to that, would we become extinct? I wouldn't say no, because obviously if, they, if that didn't happen, um, you know, our sense of smell will be affected for, for one. Um, it might get clogged up, so it's, we just need to filter that out. So in fact, the population will be a healthier population, and that will actually help us reach eternity. Yeah? So then you say, well, sneezing is not wrong. Sneezing is right. Yeah. Now, you do this for every parameter. Every time you need to figure out whether a behavior is right or wrong, um, you or whether an activity is right or wrong, you just follow those three steps. Yeah. That's how you know right from wrong. Yeah. 
So whenever I offer you my opinion on certain behaviors and activities, that's what I'm basing it on, that simulation with those three steps. I'm basing it on scientific reasoning. Yeah? If it leads to human extinction, it's wrong. Because your argument with, uh, my argument is, if somebody was to use the voice of God weapon to make sure that 100% of the people, the population did it, will we become extinct? If the answer is yes, then that's wrong. If somebody was to use the voice of God weapon to make sure that 100% of us sneezed, would that be wrong? Not really. We'll just be clearing up our noses. Yeah. So, sneezing, yeah, is not something that can leave us exposed to extinction that could result from people using these voice-to-scar weapons. But there are other behaviours that once I put through that simulation, I find extinction all the time. So, when I say to you that behaving like this is wrong, I don't mean it in a, in a way where you're talking about feeling. I feel as if it's wrong because when you ask yourself are feelings ever wrong how could something that feels good be wrong and then you say no something that feels good can never be wrong you're wrong yeah let me go back to my simulation now if you started to look at um um you'd be amazed at what <laughs> what what is actually what we do we take as normal behavior that is actually wrong yeah it's not something that's right scientifically based on that simulation with those three steps let's take something that we all use and me i'm a big sugar lover yeah i love sugar and there's no way i'm if they've ever banned sugar then i'll look for those people who are willing to smuggle it to <laughs> smuggle it in i don't need my sugar fix i don't care but Sugar is wrong. Ask me why. If I place X as uh, is sugar right or wrong? Is, is consuming sugar right or wrong? And step one. And then step two. Um, if 100% of the population consumes sugar. Yeah. Can we see extinction? Yeah. Step three. Can we see extinction? Yeah. Um. You say to yourself, okay, if somebody was to use a voice to scar we weapon to increase our sugar consumption, and first of all, they use the weapon to make sure 100% of the population eat sugar, then they use the weapon to make sure that um, we increase how much sugar we eat every day, yeah? Then you look at what happens when people eat too much sugar, diabetes, obesity, cancers, whatever, then you say, well, potentially 100% of the population suffering from that will reduce our chances of living for eternity. On that basis, consuming sugar is wrong. Whether you do it or wrong, that's not the, whether you do it or not, that's not the question. The question is, is, is it wrong? Because I do a lot of wrong, like eating sugar. <laughs> I don't care, I, I do wrong. I know it's wrong because I tested it scientifically. God gave me the wisdom to 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 know to test things. <laughs> so I tested it or or God gave me the wisdom to to inform people, to inform others that they should know to test things. But anyway, <laughs> um where where that process took place. So I do wrong when I know it's wrong. And I also know that I'll need to stop one day because it's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> but I told you I'm, I'm I'm cheeky like that, and you know I'm I'm only human in it, yeah. So I do lots of wrong, but I know these things are wrong. But when you start telling yourself that what's wrong's right, we see extinction all the time, yeah. Because the person that knows something's wrong, will know that they have to stop. You know you're not gonna promote that. 
you say, yeah, I eat sugar, but please don't eat too much sugar. You catch diabetes and you get cancers from obesity. Yeah, don't eat too much sugar. Yeah. If you're going to eat sugar, then make sure you exercise harder. Yeah. So I'm somebody that knows it's wrong. So I'm going to tell people it's wrong. I do it because I'm only human, but it's wrong. I'm only human, but it's wrong. Yeah. The reason I'm doing it is because, uh, you know, we have uh, um, imperfections. Yeah. Uh, but it feels good to eat sugar, but that don't make it right. It feels good, but that don't make it right. Not everything that feels good or feels right is right. So your emotional side can be wrong. I know. How could something that feels good, you know, and feels right be wrong? There's so many examples of where it's wrong. Yeah? There's people who get attracted to little girls and it feels good to them. Yeah? And it feels right, but it's wrong. <sighs> Again, if I run the simulation and I put X, he's being attracted to little girls wrong. Okay, let's say being attracted to prepubescent girls, is that wrong? Um, step two, if 100% of the population did that, step three, would we be extinct? I find that we'll be extinct all the time. Because if 100% of the men only had sex with prepubescent girls, we will never be able to conceive, and that's extinction. That's how I know it's wrong. Yeah. I didn't talk about you choosing to do it. That you know. Like I told you, we all do wrong. But you must know it's wrong. Yeah. Uh, so you can't tell me it's right. But if, <laughs> whatever you do, because there's certain places in Arabia where you you, you do that. Where they, I think there's a country where you marry eight year old girls, but man what you choose to do is your business but um that's a behavior i won't promote i won't attack people for doing it um if but that's a behavior that i know is wrong because i do a lot of wrong myself i cannot judge i do a lot of wrong myself i cannot judge yeah i eat sugar for crying out loud <laughs> yeah so um that that's um uh the comment on what's right yeah and what's wrong there's something else i wanted to add but my memory is just being captured now um i'm not quite sure who's capturing it uh, but um we do wrong yeah this is what i wanted to say we do wrong but um we must know what's right from wrong and I've given you the simulation that can explain all of that to you. Now, the reason why when we're targeted individuals, we must choose to be good, yeah, is because remember you're a targeted individual. If you chose to concentrate on trying to sabotage someone else's life, you yourself will get sabotaged by the one who's trying to sabotage your life. Yeah? And even in competition, we must be good. Because if you spend your time, um, let's say you're vying for a woman, and you spend your time trying to discredit another man, yeah? Then you would neglect your life, and the people who are trying to do you will capitalize on that. You find that you miss appointments because you're concentrating on sabotaging someone's life. You find that you're, you're giving false information accidentally because you're not paying attention. Your attention is, is in trying to sabotage someone's life. So this is why, as targeted individuals, I must um, implore you, please don't, res don't start doing these behaviors. Don't start targeting others because the ones who are targeting you will... Will, will target you so the people who are successful in society these are targeted individuals that don't know they're targeted individuals 
that have success from targeting other individuals. So this is a person that spends all their time trying to target others, yeah? And the people who target them find it easy to target them. So the way they consolidate that, they say, right, I'm going to concentrate on doing evil to that person, sabotaging him, but I'll hire someone to watch me to, to, to make sure I'm not being sabotaged. So now you see, that's how they start hiring sorcerers and other people who target us. So you see, they, <laughs> there's a need to hire people who do that, supply and demand. So there's going to be people who offer those services. Yeah, this is where witch doctors and people like that come into it and secret organizations. And that's why you find the most successful people in society are people who use things like that. Yeah, but when we're targeting individuals, we don't do that because now um, you just sit there. Just this, this is how you know Jesus. You sit there, and if you're in a work, working environment or even a, in a public location, uh, just don't indulge in sabotaging other people. Yeah, rest assured and be glad, not glad, but just know <laughs> that if they do that to you for too long. Yeah, they'll victimize themselves from having neglected their own um, life. Yeah, and this will mean that they'll have to compromise themselves further by hiring sorcerers. And once you hire those people, they're going to talk to you about making a sacrifice and da 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 da. Yeah, so if you compromise yourself into needing to hire someone who's going to ask you to make a sacrifice. Yeah, because you're targeting other human beings, then why should we feel sorry for you? Yeah, when we see you making those sacrifices, why should we feel sorry for you? You should stop targeting people so that you don't need to hire those people. Yeah. Um, so this is a message to targeting individuals that just stay no right from wrong and um Choose to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. Um, speak your message if they don't like it. Yeah, don't attack them. Just wash your hands and wash your hands and feet of them, um, because they've only got themselves to blame. Um, and um, you must give to others as you give to yourself. Yeah, um, and uh, give to your enemy. You know, as you give to yourself. Yeah, you give your enemy wisdom, yeah, um, as you'd like for wisdom to be given to you. Um, so, use the, the correct teachings of Jesus Christ all the time. And you should be able to go through this with your quality of life, um, you know, a bit better than what it would be if you didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. So.